Carla and I met in Calgary about eight or nine years ago. She was hosting a uh, open mic there at the time. And we sort of enjoyed each other's musical company. And now she lives out here and we still enjoy each other's musical company. This is one of the first Willie P songs that I uh, learned way back when. Keeps coming down on top of me. And all the time I keep wishing I had me a warm coat and hat so that I could sleep. Standing by. Sunny days are what I pray for That golden sunshine on my skin Heading south through the Teton Mountains Lord, it seems to me that I'm
this white line of gold You know it could have been for being so good at improvising at the last second. <laughs> Bit interesting. Mm. Are you ready? I think so. You know that last song, the concerning the last song, Willie and I were driving down the road one day and he was writing in his notebook song lines and he finally closes the book in disgust and he puts it on the dash. And I said, uh, what's that about? And he says, I already wrote that song. <laughs> 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 and he's, he didn't explain. I asked him which song was that, and he didn't, he didn't say. He just said, um, you know, uh, when White Lines came out, the critics panned it because it was a drug song. And I said, a drug song? They obviously didn't listen to the song, you know? The song's about desperation and being isolated, and, and uh, it says to me, it's the state of being of the Canadian artist. You know, you're kind of um, isolated in your own country, and you're a lost foreigner in another country, and it's a desperate situation, you know? And the last plea, the last verse, you know, it could have been me you're listening to on your radio. You know, and that's, his, that's the state of the Canadian music industry. Rolling, you wrote that later, yeah, yeah, it's unbelievable. When he was sleeping on the floor of the bars in downtown Toronto. Yeah, when he first started showing up at my door, he would look like a hobo. He was dressed in rags and he carried his gear and duct taped up suitcases and duffel bags and stuff and I thought wow is this a Canadian this is the fate of the guy who should be the poet laureate of Canada and I thought well you know I think I'll do something else for a living you know Saw her on the Caney Fort River Knew her daddy'd rather shoot her Than ever forgive her For falling for one of the McCallum clan What do you expect? He's a feudin' man Every day before breakfast Her mom said, daughter Time to get a bucket and go fetch water She'd skip down the path Through the cool dark eddy That fed into the Caney Fork River the Caney Fork River, the Caney Fork River Like water everywhere, it's a sacred giver She'd touch it to her body, she'd touch it to her lips I wish I was a Caney Fork River Of a hollow loud. Well, 
till the log hit a rock and I sank to the bottom. My body washed away late last autumn. My spirit still lingers in the cool dark water that washes the skin the fur the city stutter. The Caney Fork River, the Caney Fork River, black like water everywhere, it's a taker and a giver. Touch it to her body, she touch it to her lips. I wish I was a Caney Fork River. Caney Fork River, the Caney Fork River, like water everywhere. It's a taker and a giver. She touch it to her body, she touch it to her lips. I wish I was a Caney Fork River. I wish I was a Caney Fork River. this one. It's just sort of a hit a nerve when you lived in Alberta. <laughs> yeah. What can I say? What else have I got to say before we'll about Willie B before we depart? Hmm. I keep him in my guitar case. <laughs> I was, uh, well, used to give people, uh, have you ever received one of these? Yeah, a kinder egg. Will used to eat the kinder egg and then he would stuff a little trinket in there and give it to you. Anybody have one of these? <laughs> well, Esther gave me this one. And it's got a little baggie of Will's ashes in it. And I carry it with me. It's in my guitar case, and it helps me along, you know. I like to. I didn't, you know, when I when uh, Will died, I uh, I lived on high was on Haida Gwaii, and I had no way of getting off the islands soon enough to go to the funeral or any of that stuff. I did manage to make it to the uh, ceremony when he was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Um, and that's when Esther gave me this, as a matter of fact. But uh, no, I haven't seen Esther for a long time. I, I, uh, I did the artwork and stuff for a new CD cover bubble for the latest recording that never got released. But I haven't heard a thing about whether it'll ever be released. I hope it does someday. But uh, yeah, and thank John so much for putting this together. It means so much to me. Yeah. I come down to Thessalon, Toronto's not my home. I miss the North Country so well, no longer will I roam. Drifting snow round my window, drifting snow round my door. Drifting snow around my brain, Lord. Won't be no drifting Time. It never was no fun, and 
Thank you all for showing up, and geez, it's been an honor to uh, to be here and finally celebrate Will's life and all of the stuff that I've missed in the last ten years. Thanks, John. <laughs>